good morning. So I literally just woke up. It is 7.26 in the morning. And I'm just like thinking about the fact that I need to record <laughs> for my YouTube channel. Um, and I was thinking about a video that I created for Instagram last night before I went to sleep. Where I talked about how the practice of writing, in my opinion, is an ancestral practice. When I write, I think about the descendants who will read my writings, which is why I go way beyond, you know, what boys I like, (laughs) you know, and lists of things I want to buy. It goes beyond that for me. I like to put my thoughts and ideas on paper, my feelings, my secrets on paper I feel like I would want to know what my mother my grandmother I would want to know what's going on in their minds and hearts and I feel like my grandchildren and great-grandchildren will also want to know what was going on with me, which is why I like to record and capture and take, I take pictures. I've been like this though. I bought my first Canon little point and shoot when I was 17 and I took pictures of everything. I have so many pictures in my archives on Facebook in my files on my phone and just like in the computers, in my computers. And to me, it's important to have those. It's important to be able to look back and remember. Have you ever seen the Beyonce documentary, Life is But a Dream, where she just keeps recording herself? on her computer like this, that is what inspired me to start using the photo booth app more often is because it's right there. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? When I was 20, well, I probably could have, I don't think I did though, but 20 years ago, I couldn't have done this. You know what I'm saying? So it's important that I take advantage of And my feeling is that it's important that I take advantage of these things and not let myself become so bogged down with anything that I forget to let motherfuckers know I was here, especially now that we can, right? My ancestors in this country where I live, it would have been illegal for us to write and to read a few short generations ago. Like, you know what I mean? It would have been illegal. So, now, when I write, it feels ancestral. It feels like I'm doing it for the people who couldn't, but also I'm writing for the people who will eventually need to read my writing. So I looked it up last night. The first author, historians believe, about 4,200, lived about 4,200 years ago in ancient Mesopotamia. And it was a woman. The first author is believed to be a woman, a priestess, a priestess, like some of you. The world, you're welcome. (laughs) And it was like, she was writing her book before such world changing books like the Bible. If you think about it, Christianity and what it has done to this planet and what it has done to countries and civilization, to communities, to people. 
I think it's only possible because the goddamn book is printed and is it was the first book that was widely printed and disseminated. There is power in it as even as a conjure tool, there is power in it because it is written. Because it is written. When you write things down, you give it physical you give it physical existence. You give it being, you give it physical concrete physical existence. It's no longer just an idea floating in the ethers. It now takes up physical space in this world. It is the first step toward making it concrete, which is why when you create plans, when you write out your scripts and your business plans and your ideas or blueprints even, doesn't always even have to just be words. It can also be drawings and sketches and measurements and budgets and projections. You make it real. You write and sign laws into being. It's not just talk. There is something magical, legal, binding, right? By About the act of writing. In the act of signing your name to what you have written. And so when I'm telling people to script, I really do believe that you're writing your your life into existence. I'm serious about it. You know? So it used to be, and apparently publication is a is been around for thousands of years, but it didn't really become commonplace until around the year 1045 no yeah 1045 current era and then of course the Gutenberg everyone knows about the Gutenberg press which made publishing even more widespread 1450 and then the first book that was that was widely printed and and started getting disseminated was the Gutenberg bible which someone commented on commented on my page is the closest translation to the Dead Sea Scrolls. Now, 1450 is not that fucking long ago. Humans and our ancestors have been on this planet for millions of years, six million, despite what the Bible says. The Bible is a new invention, okay? The Bible is a new invention that relies on the invention of the printing press, which has only been around since 1450. And humans and our ancestors have been around for 6 million years. Our current state, the current iteration, version <laughs> of the iPhone that is human has only been around for about 200,000 years. And... <laughs> We've only been gathering to study and to share ideas and to debate and to have discourse and and reading and writing and sharing information and now sharing information, information digitally through audio and video and writings and tweets and threads and blogs and podcasts. We have been sharing information in formal and informal ways like this for a very short amount of time. Only a few thousand years compared to hundreds of thousands of years. (laughs) And on the planet right now, Less than 7%, I believe is the number, less than 7% of the world population has higher education. We should be doing everything in our power. We should be doing everything in our power to learn and to share what we've learned, to capture it, to record it, to write it down, not using our technology just to waste time and to just giggle all day (laughs) Or to just figure out better ways to shop. But to learn things that will improve our lives. And then improve the lives of our descendants. 
we are in the golden age. It, I remember hearing oh, this golden age and golden era. And what they were talking about was enlightenment and knowledge and information. Not like material wealth, but the potential of increased awareness, information, knowledge, the speed of knowledge, the accessibility of knowledge. You literally have encyclopedia at your fingertips. Anything you want to know. You can learn languages. You can learn whatever skills you want. You can find endless videos uh, blogs, websites, detailing step-by-step step for you, whatever it is you want to do. What a fucking time to be alive. Take notes. Love you.